Joe Budden asked Ray Daniels this question. Think of a question to ask you. Since since you the executive, sure. I got an executive question for you. Sure. What do you think about podcast publishing? That's the question. Um, to be honest with you, I would ask you. But what I do know, no, <laughs> but what I know, but let me tell I you, because be it, it's a word that was thrown at me in the middle of a deal, and it was like, yeah, man, we want to get on your pod because your pod is evergreen. And I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Evergreen. So I'm like, and it was like, it's, they like that word. It's never gonna go away. So at that, so a hundred years from now, when we're all dead and gone, unless some technology lets us live as long as we want, there are gonna be people watching this podcast, like people listen to Beethoven and and fucking uh, Picasso and all how we how we treasure art. This is our art, by the way. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel like we have we have to figure it out. But if I'm being honest with you, if some I'm not sitting at the table with the podcast committee of the world and they like ask me that question, I'm gonna say get Joe on the phone. <laughs> podcast publishing will definitely be a big question in the years to come. Uh, for me, it's, it was shocking that Joe Budden asked Ray Daniels that question. Not shocking because he didn't feel like he could answer it, but someone coming from the entertainment, music industry side of things, answering that question in terms of podcast publishing on whether he feels like it's a good thing or a bad thing. Now we all know, like if you're in the music industry, I'm a producer and an engineer uh, and a co-owner of a production company, Local Astronauts. So publishing is a very, very big thing for us in terms of being able to retain a necessary percentage for the records that we do produce for different artists. Um, we also understand that it is sometimes a hell of a fight uh, working with labels, working with other production houses, um, working with different artists to try to define and get the right percentages for, you know, everybody that's a part of the actual record. Um, and sometimes the, the fight can lead to legalities, um, court, you know, lawyers suing. It can lead to all of that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen cases um, of publishing rights being violated and things going to court. We've all heard of instances of that. But podcast publishing, it's a little different because first off, podcast is still vastly new. It's still within the 20 year um, spectrum. You know, I don't think it's no long, no more than 20 years if you take like just the, the, the soul heart of what podcasting is as a business. Um, but at the same time, um, it's something that we do need to continuously look into. Um, first off, shout out to Joe Budden for even asking that question, because it's one of those things for years to come will be the topic of conversation when it comes to podcasters getting rightfully compensated, you know, from companies, from their brands and things like that. Um, I also think that it leads into some of the conversations of why um, why certain co-hosts and certain people from podcasts end up leaving the show or have legal problems with the owners of the podcast because of that reason. Because, you know, a lot of times they feel like because they're the beginning, they're in the beginning of the podcast or they've contributed substantially to the podcast that maybe, you know, they need something like podcast publishing to be able to give them the rightful royalties for the work that they put in, you know? Um, and maybe that's on top of them being paid um, from, from the show on a monthly or, you know, however long basis, um, or, or whether it's for the sweat equity that they put in prior to, and they feel like they want to be compensated, you know, during and even after the fact, even if, even after they, they have left, the uh podcast platform or left the show they might feel like they need to still get some type of publishing royalties from the actual show for the efforts that they put in so that, that that's a very very um big question to answer i don't think anybody can answer it just yet because i don't think pop podcast publishing is as, as relevant right now as it will be in the next couple of years but it's definitely something to think about 
uh, for everybody that's, that that has put together a podcast up until now, um, that is going to be something that you're going to have to really think about and, and analyze, including myself. Like I have my my podcast, the podcast, the sorry, the Polly Rob podcast. <laughs> and uh, you guys can go like and subscribe that as well. It's on my YouTube channel. But um, I have to definitely think about that myself if I want to add other people's uh, part of that podcast or if I would like to expand um, on a podcast network uh, with my business partner. And, you know, we have to explore those elements as well. You know what I mean? So I want to I want to hear y'all thoughts on it. I want to hear what y'all think about, you know, podcast pub publishing and what it should consist of, what it should entail. Um, and, and if it's really a thing that's going to be for the near future, you know what I mean? I want to hear what y'all got to say about it. Shout out to Ray Daniels for his podcast. You know what I'm saying? Ray Daniels is a very influential um, executive and producer in this music industry. You guys need to watch his podcast for a lot of those jewels. I'm going to be watching as well because there's a lot of things that he talks about that I would love to react to and talk about as well because it's information that we really need. And I'm going to be perfectly honest not in a long time have we had a podcast of such that really breaks down and talks about the music industry and the ins and outs and just coming from the perspective of an executive and a producer that understands the business inside and out so shout out to ray daniels you know what i'm saying I, i'm definitely definitely subscribed and you should too you know what i mean so let me know what y'all think leave it in the comments uh i, I actually I, i'm like seven subscribers away from 500 subscribers i'm like seven i'm at 493 so hopefully after this video you know what i'm saying you guys will help me get to that 500 subscribers I'm trying to get monetized and i hope and i'm bringing you the content that y'all want to hear i really appreciate y'all man we're gonna keep it rocking we're gonna keep it rolling and y'all already know what it is workload